Hi my beautiful dreamers, this is your girl Shalinda Wan and welcome back for another video. So I hope everybody's doing well, recovering from all that love yesterday and hope everybody got a bunch of flowers and stuff. Um, my husband, he gave me two beautiful cars, they were really nice and he brought me some chocolate and he brought me my favorite ice cream cake that you, if you guys watched our husband boyfriend tag, you know, all I want is ice cream cake so that made me happy. Um, I actually got some requests to do this and um here we go i personally think that foundation is not a necessity for me what my necessity is is concealer and freight in a nice finished face powder for me yeah yeah um i don't know what i would do without this and this is my MAC Skin Finish Natural. This is just the uh, Mineralized Skin Finish. Love this. I, this and concealer does the damn thing for me. However, like if I want to like kill them and I really want like that flawless skin, I definitely will use foundation. So, um, I, my first real foundation, I went straight to MAC and I was using MAC for a long time. I am an NC50 mineralized foundation. You can see that I'm out of this one and I've been scraping, literally scraping. But I haven't really been using it. I'm not even in like dying to get it. For like the last three years, I've been using a stick foundation. And it was my everyday foundation. When I'm going to a banquet or something like that, that's when I do go to grab my MAC foundation but on an everyday basis I've been using the same product for a long time and it's really cheap and it's by Posner it's the name Posner and this is the packaging just like this it's a stick foundation as a um, cover stick foundation and concealer can be used either way dual purpose full coverage um, it's available in natural looking non ashy shades it comes in a variety of colors. It comes in fair, light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. So for me, the ones that I have are the medium. I have the medium deep and I have the deep one. The deep one is the one that I've been using every day. And I noticed that the deep one, I'm sorry, I see it like adjusting, the camera adjusting. What I noticed about the um, deep one is that it has a red undertone not necessarily orange or anything it has more of a red undertone and after applying it let's just say like two three hours go by i would notice that i looked extremely red and that's not necessarily what i was going for so a lot of times i would have to find myself mixing the medium and the dark together i found that i would mix the two and that's when i was getting the my desired look um, I really didn't want to do that. I don't want to have to mix a product to get my, what I really want. So God heard my prayers and he put me on to a drugstore foundation that was made for me and I love it. I actually have it on now. I love how light it looks. It doesn't look like I have anything on. Um, it look, it, it honestly, like, I don't have skin problems. It just, I, I love it. I love this one. And on an everyday basis, like I told you, when I'm going out, I mix my foundations. I'll, well, not mix them, I'll wear two different ones. I'll wear the lighter one in my T-zone because that's the part that I want to highlight. Then I, you know, use the darker one on my circumference. But this one, I don't want to have to do that on my everyday. My everyday is like, it's not that serious. But this one. I don't have to mix and it's just been amazing and that's my baby Iman got them <gasps> love her oh okay so it comes in these um cute little um little, little compacts and this is called the second to none cream to powder foundation it definitely is a cream and it goes to powder which definitely is great because a lot of times we put on foundation then we have to go behind that with the powder this actually is amazing because it goes on like a cream and if you have the proper like if you have a 
buffer brush and this is dirty I've used it I'm not making it seem like I didn't it's dirty um, and you have a buffer brush this gives you that finished look that the skin finish does without having to apply the damn skin finish I love it oh my god this is amazing now remember like I told you I'm a stick foundation girl so I went there intentionally to pick up the stick foundation earth 4 by Iman really pretty packaging it has the Iman name on it can you guys see that the Iman name has comes in a stick has the gold take it off it's really pretty this is what the foundation look and believe it or not I didn't did not expect that color because you know when it shows you the guide um earth 4 like look this is the um stick and this is what the powder looks like. Those are two different colors. However, they work great together as a concealer and a foundation. Glory. Glory! Ah! This! Ah! I didn't know! I was... I, I didn't know. Oh, I love it. I've been using this one, the Earth 4 and the stick foundation as my concealer. I apply it in a V underneath my eyes and you know if I have any little spot somewhere, love this. I expected to use it as a foundation. It works so much better for me as a concealer. It is great. Now of course I do have my MAC um, concealer and what, which is this? NW45 which is good. Um, I find it to be really hard to blend sometimes. So, like I said, this is my banquet stuff. This is my high-end stuff that, you know, but for everyday look, and you still want to look good every day, right now, I've been rocking Iman and loving every second of it. Love it. Um, as far as finish telling you guys about the compartment, um, this one, it comes in three like this. You have three pieces. It definitely comes with the little um, sponge. I don't really use the sponge. Um, maybe I will, but for now, I'll just put it underneath there. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is how much you're getting here. You know, sometimes the people put these big-ass count packs together and make a person assume that they're going to get a lot. It's not a lot. However, my feeling is if I'm not going to get a lot, then damn it, you better give me good quality. And in my opinion, this is really good. And of course, it has the mirror. Love this. Um, I purchased these from Target. Um, you can go to ImanCosmetics.com. If I'm not mistaken, I'll make sure I have the proper link and put it at, in my in the toolbar. But um, I think they were no more than $15 a piece. I did get another one. I got the um, Earth 5 because, like I said, I like the outer tone. But the Earth 4 actually wound up being my overall complexion color. So I'm going to go back and get the Earth 3, which is lighter than this one, to do my T-zone. Only if that's the look I'm going for. But for my everyday, I've been using just one. And I love it. It gives such a beautiful finish. So definitely, definitely, I would recommend, my recommendations are the, um, the Photo Ready, the Revlon Photo Ready, ready really like that one, that's a big def um, recommendation. The Revlon uh, Mineral Mousse, if you don't quite like stick foundations, this is a really good one. And um, the Fit, the new Fit ones, only if you're a lighter sister and you have that type of mocha mocha and light complexion and you're looking for a light coverage this is great but my number one recommendation right now is home girl home girl home girl oh uh, i mean it go i'm telling you guys i don't know if you guys can see i don't have anything else on but this i swear no finishing powder no nothing there's, look, I mean, I'm getting up close. Can you guys see that? Look at my face. I'm going to take y'all on a tour of my whole face. Don't look at the ugly stuff. That's fine. Let's look at the skin. Now, I was about to forget. The one thing 
that I did notice about this, because you know, guys, I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't going to tell you it's great and not tell you everything. I did see some reviews on this, and other women did say it breaks them out, and I had breakouts. If you look right here, I don't. I don't do that unless I'm on my menstrual. And I am on my menstrual. But that's not the point. I usually get like one and it's more of a pimple that be up here. So once I start using this, I did see this. But as long as it don't get ridiculous, I like it. I'm sorry. Like that might sound crazy. But like, why are you going to keep using something that breaks you out? Just because it gives me these results without having to apply more product on, on top of product on top of product. Love this, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love this. I'll just make sure that I um, double up my intake of water to supplement. Now, remember, that's a good tip, guys, if you don't know that if you break out a lot, um, increase your water intake. That will help. Um, one more thing that I got from Iman that I have to just throw in here. It's not a foundation, but I fell in love with it. And it is their, her luxury blushing powder. And it's in the color of sable. And this is, you know, it comes in a cute little compact. Has her name on it, Iman. And this is the color. It's such a earth. It is a natural skin tone with like a, I don't even want to say red. It's like a rustic, rustic peach undertone. It's amazing. It's definitely a great um, blush that you can, it's like an everyday blush. You can also use this on your eyelid as a crease color, as a lid color. This is a all over your face product. If you want to use it on your um, as a blush and or eye makeup. This is great guys. I love this. This is what I've been rocking on my everyday. Just going out every day. I'll throw this on my lid. Um, well actually I'll throw this on my whole eye with my big brush. Let me show you that real quick. I have this big brush. And this is the big brush I use. And when I'm going for this, my whole lid to be all one color, one unison color, I'll use this. And I'll put it on my whole lid. And it's, it's beautiful, guys. So definitely check out Sable, S-A-B-L-E. It's called Sable, I believe. I believe it was about $12, $13, honestly. So it wasn't cheap. It's not cheap. I'm not going to say it's cheap, but... If I could use something like this and use it as blush as well as eye makeup and it gives me that everyday beautiful coverage look, it was worth it. It was worth it. So, those are my reviews of some of my drugstore foundations. Um, some of the high-end ones that I've also used was the only other one I've used was Clinique. And I really didn't care for Clinique too much. But um, as far as drugstores... Right now, I'm really loving Iman. So if I had to recommend anything right this second, I would date, I would definitely say go try out the Iman. I'm, I, I, I didn't hear too many negative. I, actually, I haven't heard any. So I'm not saying that there's none out there. But I haven't heard any negative um, reviews about it. It's, it's amazing. On top of that, one more thing. Her website is amazing. Go to her website. Regardless of whether you use her products or not, go to her website. Let me tell you why. On, she has to where you can compare her products to the high-end Max and other um, foundations. They have a product list. The best part that I found is that at one on one of her lists, it shows like if you want medium coverage, no, if you want a light coverage, it'll show you where you need to be applying your foundation. If you want a medium coverage, this is where you apply your foundation. If you're looking for a full coverage, this is where you need to be. It's, it's great. So if you're a beginner, Definitely check out and you don't sometimes you just don't have a clue on where and how on her website They have tutorials. They have walkthroughs her, her website is great. I definitely make sure it's attached to this guys. It's great. Definitely check her out So guys, I hope you enjoy my foundation drugstore review um, I hope it was helpful and I hope that even if you don't f wear makeup, it's fine I just hope that you got something out of this and uh, remember, guys, find the closest mirror to you and embrace the beautiful dreamer in you. Till next time, guys. I love you. Bye.